guys welcome back to my channel so today i have a hair review for you guys i went blonde and i'm wearing supernova hair that i cut into a bob so yeah um just sit tight and let's jump straight into the video hi guys welcome back to my channel so if you guys can already tell i went blonde you guys know I love trying different colors, so I just went, decided to go all out and I went blonde. Um, it was super easy, super, super easy to do. If you're not already subscribed, you can go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so this hair that I'm wearing is from Supernova Hair. I was sent four bundles of hair on the front two, um, 14, 14, 14, 14, and a 14 inch front two. So I just uh, made the hair into a regular wig, like the regular way I make wigs. Then I cut it into the bob. Then I also went ahead and toned the hair. Now I got 613 bundles. This is one of the bundles that I didn't use. Um, so yeah, this is one of the bundles that I didn't use. And as you can see, this 613 is very, very bright. And it has a lot of yellow in it. So if you use this just straight out of the pack, it's going to look really, really weird. Um, because I wanted something that was going to match my skin tone, I had to go ahead and tone this to make it this color. So as you can see, the difference between the untoned 613 shade out of the pack and this is the blonde I'm working with right now. So it's more toned down. It's not as shiny and as highlighted as this one. So yeah, you're definitely going to want to tone this if you want it to match your skin tone. I have a video on the entire toning process, styling, cutting the wig and all that stuff. You can click the add this up if you want to see that video. I only used, um, I only used about three bundles to do this. Um, I didn't use the last bundle of hair because I didn't want to make it super thick. You get a lot of hair on the bundles. Their hair is really thick. Two and a half to three bundles would be enough for you. The only problem I had with this hair was that I got some shedding from the hair. Especially the, one of the bundles that I got was like shed quite a lot. A little bit more than what I'm normally used to. So yeah, that was the only problem I had. But other than that, I haven't gotten any tangling. I haven't got there's been no bad smells I, it was really easy for me to work with I really didn't have any problems coloring the roots was super easy um I went ahead and used some foundation on the parts because the front so like you don't have to bleach the knots so obviously because the hair is 613 you really don't have to bleach the knots but because of that the front looks a little white so you would definitely have to put some foundation on con or concealer on the knots so that it matches your scalp the front has a pretty wide padding space as you can see it's part all the way back to here so yeah it's a pretty pretty wide padding space the hairline was a little too thick for me i wish it was more pre-plucked i still had to go in and pluck some hair from the front too but i didn't even like finish plucking i didn't pluck all the side because i knew i was going to be wearing the hair like this for the most part i only did like the front here that you can see but yeah um if you want to like pull it back or all that stuff you're definitely going to want to pluck the entire frontal um like the entire front part of the frontal so that it looks more natural that's one thing i have an issue with i've used their black hair before and um the frontal was too thick i wish they would just like pluck their frontals a little bit more and everything would just be perfect because the hair is good quality and it's soft it has a really nice shine like you can run your fingers through it it looks really nice it moves well um no nasty smells like i said the only issue i had was the shedding but that was with only one bundle so everything else was fine now on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give them an eight and a half Eight and a half because I had to still go in and plug the front two. I wish the front two was more pre-plugged. And also because of the shedding that I got from that one bundle. So yeah, eight and a half definitely. I would recommend the hair to anyone that wants to get it. Especially if you want to do like a really blonde color like this. If you're trying to do blonde, this blonde from Black Eyes, strongly advised against it. I've tried it before with hair from another company and, and the, the hair that I used was hair from a really, really good company. And like you would just damage the hair. It's very difficult to take hair from Jet Black or 1B bundles to this Platinum Blonde. Because this blonde is like a level 10 blonde. So you're basically trying to take hair from like a level 2, level 1, all the way to a level 10. You are going to damage the hair. Especially with the harsh bleaching process bleaching hair is not easy So if you want to do something that's this bright just get 613 bundles is much easier You save a lot of time and money um, Instead of trying to bleach it all the way you can just simply tone it down just 
work with the highlights use a simple toner and that is it the toner is about five dollars from sally's so yeah for this i used two two boxes of toner so that was ten dollars in total the entire process is in my video where i show you guys what i did so yeah make sure you watch that video you can click the add stop like i said before or just wait to the end of the video and it will pop up on your screen so yeah, I think that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Like I said, the hair is from Supernova Hair. All the information will be down below in the description box. So please make sure you check that out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below on my face on this side. Also, do not forget to watch my other wig videos on this side. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!